Hello everyone, my name is Ariana and this is the second video of my midterm. So for this video I'm going to be talking about the desiring body, specifically discussing straight men having sex with trans women. So first I want to talk about, basically talking about, explain what being transgender means because I, I really feel that a lot of people are unsure of what it means or are uneducated about it and they just simply don't know. So being transgender um, basically means someone they feel that maybe they were born physically a man but inside they feel that they should have been a woman or vice versa. Um, the problem with this is in our society specifically is that many people may not know what being transgender means and a lot of people believe that, you know, they think it's not possible, that it's not possible that you can physically be a man or a woman and inside feel like you are something else. And I think talking about my first video, that this totally stems from, um, gendered embodiment. You know, as a society, we are supposed to act a certain way and men should act like men and feel like men and women should, you know, act like women and feel like women and there's no reason why a woman should feel like she's a man or a man should feel like she's a woman. Um, when Caitlyn Jenner came out, um, I think it was very eye-opening to our society of uh, how real this is and you know, I know so many people are afraid to come out because of how unaccepting our society is of transgender people and how afraid, you know, that they are for their lives to come out and to say something publicly, especially, uh, you know, someone like Bruce Jenner, you know, who's famous. Um, I've noticed ever since that, uh, Caitlyn Jenner came out, I've, I've seen a lot of TV shows and, uh, talking about, you know, kids and anybody who's transgender and, you know, so you kind of get to see the world from their eyes and how, how, what they have to go through and how they feel and, you know, I think it's good for our society to have to see those things to understand that there is people out there like that and that it isn't something that's just made up and it isn't something that, you know, is impossible because it is. And but I think our society is so far off from becoming acceptable of transgender people, and I think that's because we just began to be accepting of people who are homosexual. You know, the law just passing that hom anybody who de is defined as being homosexual can get married, and you know this is fairly recent in our society, and I know in my generation that we have definitely become more accepting of people who um, are homosexual and it's not something that's weird for us and I've been around it, you know, at school and, you know, stuff and it's not weird for me and I know for, like, my parents that it, you know, it's kind of took a little bit getting used to and I'm hoping as generations go by that we will all begin, you know, to be accepting of everyone no matter who they are or what they believe in or what they feel. Um, so also... When I was in community college, I took a human sexuality class and I got the opportunity to get to sit down and listen to a trans woman come in and talk about her life and her experience and, you know, it was very eye-opening for me because I really didn't know that much about it and, you know, I knew those people existed but it's not something that people really talked about and, you know, it, it's when it's right in front of you, you see that these people are human beings and they have feelings and, you know, this is a real person and standing in front of you and it's something that I think that everybody should have to experience so they can begin to understand. So now talking about um, an article by Deanna Torje called The Straight Men Who Have Sex With Trans Women. Uh, she explains where, that she has interviews with a cu couple different men who define as being straight, um, asking them about their experiences having sex with trans women. Um, and for one of them, she talks to Matt, who had sex with a trans woman, and he felt that in any other society that he felt, 
it wouldn't be an issue, but in this society it is, and just for that reason alone, he felt that he was not comfortable and he couldn't do it anymore, you know, because he was so afraid of what other people may think of him, you know, he questioned his own sexuality, you know, is he gay because he had sex with a trans woman, or, you know, do people think that he's gay, and especially when it comes with straight men having sex with trans women, there is that depiction of questioning their se sexuality, you know, uh, does that mean that they're gay because they had sex with a trans woman, or, you know, they can't be straight, there's no way, and, you know, a lot of men have this fear, especially going, you know, anywhere, going to bars, going out, you know, a lot of times you can't tell if someone's a trans woman or, you know, a trans man, and, you know, men are, many men are so afraid of this, or so afraid of having something happen where they happen to become, you know, have some sort of relation with a trans woman and, you know, because our society is totally not accepting of something like that and there's so much fear for that straight man to have to do something like that because, you know, they're questioning their sexuality. It's, it's so much more accepting for a woman to be homosexual, you know, to be with another woman than it is for a man to be homosexual, to be with another man, you know. It's sexy when a woman is with another woman, like, you know, people like that. When you see two men together, it's not something that people have a positive reaction to still, even though we have become somewhat more accepting of it, and especially when you're talking about trans people, this just becomes even more harder for people to understand, and there's so much more fear that stems from this. Um, and on the other hand, she interviewed a man named Alex who had sex with a trans woman, and he felt that it didn't make him gay. He, um, even though he felt that it didn't make him gay, there, he said that, that he would not tell his friends, you know, because there still is that fear of what other people are going to think of you. And he simply stated that he's attracted to femininity, not masculinity, so he felt that a trans woman was feminine, and it didn't matter to him, you know, sexually what she, you know, if she had a penis or she didn't, um, if she was pre-op or post-op, that he, that's what he was attracted to, and that's what he liked, and, you know, he was okay with that. Um, you know, like I was saying, it's so much easier for our society to accept women who are bisexual, you know, than it is for our society to accept a man who is bisexual. So a straight man having sex with a trans woman is not something that is accepting, really, and people are afraid, I think, you know, on both sides. It's so hard for trans people to come out because they're afraid for their lives that, you know, they could get killed or beaten or assaulted or, you know, anything, and then that these straight men are afraid that they're going to be judged because of it, you know, because that they had sex with a trans woman and they don't want to tell anybody, and, you know, there's a lot of people that may feel that they can't do it anymore just because of the depiction our society has on it. So that's all I have for my second video. Thanks for watching.